Hi beautiful souls, welcome to Angel Shaman Power, Jacqueline here. I'm doing a full moon reading for the 28th of October in Taurus and it's eclipse. It's an eclipse. I am not sure if you noticed the tension that is building up towards this full moon. Um, it's like you just have to see for yourself and look back two years ago what you started what you felt what you envisioned everything that needs to be clear on a cellular level dna um, clearing and adjustment aligning to a higher purpose aligning to a higher frequency so let's see what this full moon is about what you want to what you can learn from it and what the energy is telling us okay so it's a soul mission someone or some yeah some of you a lot of you are now asked to not ignore your soul mission to pure your soul mission any blocks you have conscious subconscious blocks this is falling out it has to do with karma from your childhood your ancestors could also be that you're living in a dark night with soul right now or getting into a dark night with soul um some of you will um envision some things from your childhood which could be on a cellular level still in your body the energy of that childhood karma could still be in your body and that is a full moon energy is now uh, urging you to release to purify this so you can take a next level in your life purpose and step into your soul mission with a higher frequency energy frequency of abundance if you having trouble uh, stepping into your into this frequency um, spirit is guiding you to uh, envision a breakthrough to see for yourself what you need to learn to follow your path regarding your soul mission and to have a breakthrough and uh, envision your new direction so spirit is also guiding you to release all of this karma which you have built from your childhood or from your ancestors could also be um, energy that is stored from in inside of your body from past lives which is now coming to surface coming to con uh, to, to consciousness that needs to be cleared needs to be purified needs to be uh, you need to be freed from this energy from this um, dense energy from this density which is in your body so you can be free you can feel free you can uh, step into a new higher timeline timeline of abundance it's all up to you check and, and check also your ego your psychic um, abilities what you are telling yourself what is it that you are expressing thinking uh, mind your thoughts mind your words what is coming out of your mouth or what is it that you think the word uh, hope is has a negative uh, frequency on it because it's it's not sure it it's based on a fear energy instead of uh, knowing instead of trusting and trust is a higher frequency than than hope and knowing, inner knowing, inner, uh, uh, inner knowing regarding your intuition, feeling with your intuition, feeling with your higher self, connecting with your higher self will envision a higher frequency. So if you want to tune in on a level of abundance regarding all areas of your life, you need to shift your vibration. You need to shift your thoughts. You need to shift your um, feelings you need to shift your energy towards this higher frequency because abundance is um, vibrating on a higher on a higher level than fear where fear is no abundance can be so you need to 
release all this negative energy within your system, within your energy system, within your all of your chakras and your cellular level. Uh, you need to connect with universal love. You need to connect with growth. And when you do this, when you connect with growth, everything will fall into place. You will get um, uh, epiphanies regarding to work, uh, epiphanies regarding to um, manifest abundance, regarding uh, love life, anything. If you're in a twin flame relationship, as I am, you will, will transform all of this into a higher level and uh, you will become a, you come into union with your twin and um, you need to shift you need to be on that level of frequency where the union can can be union will be on a higher frequency level and if you don't shift your energy into this frequency union can't be but you need to um to see what is blocking you you need to acknowledge your blocks you need to acknowledge your fears and you need to clear them out of your energy system you need to clear them out of your mind and you, the emotions need to need to be cleared and shifted into higher vibrational transformation of blockages of energy frequency of karma this is what you need to do to come into alignment with abundance. Abundance has a high, very high frequency. And if, you're, if you are vibrating on a level where uh, still fear is inside of you, where you still uh, um, uh, experience fear in your life, it could be fear regarding, oh, I don't have enough, oh, he, don't, he doesn't contact me, or... Um, our twin flame relation is he my twin flame you know if he's your twin flame uh, you know deep inside of you if you are willing to look and see and feel um, pure with the purity if you are seeing with a bit of fear it could be that your psychic abilities or your ego call it ego um are manipulating you so be aware of that this is by the way my own um acoustic healing oracle it's from myself you can find it in make playing cards find it in the link below in the description box and we're heading to the zodiac moon reading cards from patsy bennett I show you what I will use for cards. Queen of the Moon Oracle, Stacy DeMarco, and Monology from Jasmine Boland. What do we have here? The Heavenly Bodies Astrology Deck from Lily Ashwell, and the Healing Mantra Deck from Mott Cannon. So I'm working with those, and the Moon Magic also from Susie DeMarco. Well, let's see what the universe wants to tell you. Let's see what they are up to with us. Okay, so three cards. First of all is Saturn, the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. If you're feeling challenged right now, if you're feeling itchy, if you're feeling um, a bit of um, pressure, no, or if you're feeling a bit of um, anxiety or whatever negative feeling you are um experiencing right now know that behind this negative energy negative feeling negative emotion there is growth it's up to you if you are want to if you are um, taking a step further it's up to you if you want to shift your karma it's up to you the universe can't help you the universe is only guiding you towards your fear it's only um um, showing you your fear is only showing you um, everything that you need to see in order to grow the universe doesn't want you to be in a, in a lower state of a frequency the universe wants you to give abundance but you need to step into this frequency of abundance if you are in, instead uh, on a frequency of shortage a frequency of lack then 
that's all the universe is going to give you. Lack. Lack of wisdom. Lack of love. Lack of um, abundance. Money. Lack of jobs. Or whatever it is that, you're la that you have a, a shortage of. A lack of. I, I was looking for a word. But the universe vibrates... On the level you are vibrating on if you shift your frequency the universe can't do anything else than shift this frequency giving you this amount of abundance which is on this frequency you are in so if you are experiencing lack of something it doesn't matter what then you need to shift your vibration and the universe is purging you, is, uh, shoving you, is assisting you in giving you everything that that is something that gives you uh, the chills, that gives you um, perhaps anger or whatever. Any negative vibration you are experiencing right now, whether, the, whether it is anger or it is frustration or whatever negative emotion it is, step into this emotion and uh, acknowledge it. Acknowledge your fear of lack. Acknowledge your fear of not having enough. In acknowledge your fear of not um, being in union with your twin, of not coming into union with your twin. Um, step into this. Uh, step into this uh, energy, because there is your growth. Growth is never in uh, in. Growth is only, you can only grow when you're experiencing negative emotions. That's why you step into this power of growth. Or when you already step in, it's only uh, emerging and growing and flowing. The energy vibrates and you only vibrate higher on a higher frequency. The 12th house this is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause of power. This is what I was talking about. So the universe is acknowledging it and is confirming it with this card, what I just said. So if you want to feel abundance, if you want to feel everything you already ask for in numerous lives, or when you were a child between 7 and 12, what did you experience? What did you want to become? Who you want? Who did you want to become? Or what was it that you envisioned from a life, your your perfect life? What in what vision did you have when you were between seven and twelve or fourteen? What 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 vision? Which vision did you have to become clear? I just saw this vision recently, two, two days ago. I knew, I, I already knew this, but I was reminded of it. What did I see when I was between 7 and 14? I knew, I just told my twin the other day, day before, uh, what I envisioned when I was 7 and 7 until 14. I was about 12 or something. And... Um, and I envisioned a part of my life, who I wanted to become, uh, what I was doing, what I was, who I was with. Not, I didn't see a face or what, but I knew in what energy I wanted to be. And this energy is now, is now in the now. It's coming. It, it's already there. So this is, and the universe can't, has to shift also in in this i i shifted into this frequency i already knew this frequency from long time ago what i wanted to be how my dream life would be so i shifted my vibration into this frequency and the universe is giving it to me okay mercury how you think communicate write talk and travel so mercury is wanting to say to you Ex um, pay attention to what you think pay attention to what you write talk and how do you travel how you go uh, through life 
I have a feeling it has doesn't have to do uh, specifically to do with travel in another country or whatever. But first of all, I have a feeling it has to do with uh, travel through uh, ex uh, energy. How is how do you think? How you communicate? What is it? What words do you use? Talking, writing, uh, thinking, communicating with others. How do you travel in those frequencies? And that's where the universe uh, steps in and is guiding you now into a proper positive energy. The Queen of the Moon Oracle. Guidance through lunar and seasonal energies. And from the last eclipse until this one, from the 28th, I have a feeling everything you needed to experience to do a shift to take a shift to step into your power was given to you if you already experienced it and took advantage of this energy then woe for you if not then this is your chance i'm doing this reading on x yeah wednesday i'm uploading it on wednesday the 25th and uh, everything it's it's beautiful Beautiful cards. Again, what I was just telling you about. Release everything. Release everything that is not, is not of your highest vibration. It's not for your highest good. So the, uh, the, between these eclipses, uh, you were guided to release everything on a cellular level that is not vibrating with your highest frequency, with your higher self, with everything your higher self has in store for you. If everything needs to shift, needs to change, change and shift in your life, then do it. Just do it. Uh, say no to someone else is saying yes to yourself. If you have a problem with saying no to someone, I don't want to, I don't, uh, I don't want to um, communicate with you, or uh, I don't want to go out with you. Whatever it is, shift it. Just shift it. Stand up for yourself. Um, take your power back full moon power I have a feeling this is um, Scorpio season <laughs> Scorpio season I'm a Scorpio too um, my birthday is on Halloween so which Scorpio whatever but everything needs you need to take your power back you need to take your power back everyone can step into his power Release everything that is not in alignment with your power and release everything that is not in alignment with self-love. Show the love for yourself. If you want to be in a twin flame union, you need to love yourself first. If you were experiencing two years ago, because we are in this season of Taurus and everything is shifting into another uh, eclipse season, uh, I'm not sure what sign it was, but anyway, uh, this is the last eclipse in Taurus. So already what you experienced two years ago, I have a feeling this is coming to surface right now to look at it again, to see how you shifted already from two years ago in 2021 until now. So just do it. Release everything on a cellular level, on a DNA level, activate uh, use the, the higher frequency codes which are coming, the light codes which the universe is giving us to shift our vibration, to shift into 5D energy, to shift our, um, our energy into, into uh, alignment with your higher self, in alignment with your soul mission, in alignment with, with everything that needs to shift. Use the energy of the full moon. Monology manifestation cards. Okay, so this is quick. What is it? Break, breathe through the tension. So if you're a full moon in Scorpio, okay. So I was having it here right now. Yeah, full moon. No, I was telling uh, Scorpio uh, power season now. So breathe through the tension. So if you are experiencing tension, the, this tension is making you aware of everything that you need to shift, that you uh, are able to shift if you choose to, to do so. Take a breather. So, take a breath. 
in and out what you're giving use your breath what you are giving out ye, ye. breathe out you need to take back in and this is giving and receiving giving and receiving this is what the universe is wanting you to know and wanting you to learn if you are giving you also need to be in a receptive energy because if you're not in this receptive energy the universe can't give it to you take a reality check full moon in capricorn so let's see what is it that you are not seeing ask the universe to make it clear to you even those things that are subconscious know your own worth new moon and taurus so know who you are, know what you, um, what your worth are, uh, know what you're uh, worthy of receiving. Make time for self-love. So for some of you, there is a huge gap between self-love and, and um, abundance, receiving abundance. And this could also be when you experience something in your childhood where you're not supposed to be seen, where you, where someone didn't acknowledge your worth, didn't acknowledge yourself, your worth of, of being, you could translate it, you could shift, you could have shifted this into a lack of self-worth, and this lack of self-worth could be that the problem, the root of the problem, is lying in your childhood. If you're seeing this, it could also mean that you're shifting it out of your system, that you are shifting your vibration regarding this and you are letting go of it. So see for yourself, take a good look in yourself. What is it? What is coming up? Perhaps by listening to this uh, um, reading or perhaps afterwards, I don't know, but I have a feeling that some of you are experiencing something from your childhood and some, something comes up a thought or whatever or an emotion or a vibration anything and this could be the answer because it's not coming up for for no reason the universe is giving you signs I, I see those signs acknowledge those signs could be that you're overhearing a conversation with someone or that you're seeing something or you're seeing a movie and there is a line in it someone says a line um, and that's exactly what you experience as a child or you are hearing a song and the lyrics are exactly what you experience as a child. So take a good look at it when you are giving signs from the universe. And if you're not, um, if you can't understand them, ask for another sign. The universe is not withholding you signs, but if you don't understand them, it's what do you do when you're in a classroom? When you're in a classroom and a teacher is uh, exp explaining something on a board, on a chalkboard, and you are thinking, what the hell is there? Is there did he write or she? And you don't understand it. You, you ask, what it, can you explain this to me? So that's how you work with the universe. If uh, in the past I didn't understand the messages the universe was saying to me, I asked, Okay, I don't, uh, I don't understand anything from it. What is it that you want to tell me? So give it to me again. Uh, tell me, and then the universe would give another sign. If I don't understand it, I, what well, I already said, fun, of, as for Dutch, excuse me. So then I was saying for, give me another sign which I can understand, and they gave it to me. Could be a couple of days, could be two days, could be one day, could be an hour, could be a minute. I don't know. But the universe is giving you signs. The universe wants you to go. The universe doesn't want you to stand in this position where you're at. It's up to you whether you shift or not. First of all is sextile. A combination of tension and flow, potential and rewarding situation. This is what I'm talking about. The whole reading is about this. So it's up to you whether you shift your vibration. It's up to you whether you shift your um, your vision, whether you shift your uh, things that you see. Okay, these were the House of Six, establishing a foundation, health, daily life and practical de details. So if you want to establish a foundation in your daily life, 
in your routine, in, in a job or finances or whatever, or, or love life, then you need to shift. That's all you need to do, shift. Spiritual growth, house of nine. The universe wants you to grow. The universe doesn't want you to stand still. Um, friends, like minded group, like minded groups and human humanitarian beliefs. So you are perhaps uh, you are shifting with friends, that you're losing friends, but they're making space, room for new friends, which are who are sh uh, on your level of frequency. Then you, these old friends that stay in a low vibration. If you shift in a higher vibration, they can't keep up with you, so you don't need them anymore. Could be, it could be sad, of course, but if they are blocking your growth, what is it you want? Do you want yourself? Do you want to grow, or do you want to stay in this old relationship which doesn't feel fulfilling anymore? Stability, persistence, loyalty and dependability. So it could be that you are dependable on these lower vibration energy friends. Then please shift your, shift your vision, shift anything you experience in life and take a bold step forward. Step into this vibration of abundance. House of 10. Structure, discipline, life mission, accomplishments and career. So the house of ten. Ten is in the tarot another um, ending of a cycle. Ten is a new beginning. It's coming to ace. Ace, the first card of uh, the tarot, and ace is a new beginning. So you are making, you are ending something, structures, old belief systems, whatever. Uh, but you are disciplined to release them. You are difficult. Uh, you are disciplined. To be on your life mission, you, to, you are disciplined to accomplish anything, also regarding your career. So everything is coming into alignment if you follow your heart, if you follow your higher heart, if you follow your higher self. And if you're in, when you're on, in alignment with your higher self, anything can happen because then you're in alignment with your soul, and you are vibrating on a soul level. This is what is what is what this all is to, is, is is about. We need to vibrate on a soul level. We need to shift our frequency into a higher frequency. Fifth, six, seven dimensional, eight, nine. This is what we are, um, what we are gaining to. No, not gaining to. That's the wrong word. But aiming. <laughs> this is what we are aiming for. You also. I am. What is the mantra? What mantra could you use? shift this okay I am willing to see beyond my beliefs ideas and conclusions so if you are activating the third eye activating the third eye the mantra could be I am willing to see I am willing to see beyond my beliefs ideas and conclusions be because perhaps these belief systems and conclusions and and ideas what you're having are holding you back and sometimes you can't see it, so you need uh, you need to ha have a higher uh, vision of it. See as an eagle, or as a helicopter. See what is happening there on on stage. Are you participating on this lower vibrational energy, or are you rising above it? It's up to you. Okay, first, next, the light is always within me, anchoring the light. So if you are anchoring your light. You need to feel this light. You need to feel from your third chakra and create anything with light. Create with light. Create with love. The power of love. The power of authenticity. The power of love is, is, is very um, powerful. But the frequency of authenticity is much more powerful. So if you want to vibrate on a next level, then step into those, a step into your authenticity. Step, connect with your higher self. My choices determine how brightly I shine. So expressing free will. So you have a free will to step into this power. It's up to you. The universe is not forcing you, but the universe is guiding you. 
And if you feel it like a force which um, is pushing you into a next level, then you're seeing it wrong. Because you are all you always have a free will. It's up to you whether you take a step, yes or no. It's up to you whether you close the door to enter a new, a new one. Abundance is my birthright, and I receive it now. Yes, amplifying abundance. This is what I'm talking about. You are abundance is your birthright. It's all of us our birthright. And you need to step into this frequency of receiving. L illuminating the truth. I am willing to see things clearly, no matter the outcome. So, if you are afraid of watching, if you are afraid of seeing, if you are afraid of looking behind, beyond your reliefs and belief systems, then you will stay stuck because you have a fear of um, doing something about it, you are afraid of uh, experiencing negative, negative things, belief systems, but you are the only one who can change them. The universe can't do this for you. The universe is just guiding you into look at it, look at it. What are you believing in? What are you gaining it? What do you want? What is it that you want? Do you want love? Do you want a union with your twin flame? Then you need to shift your vibration on those levels where fear is based, where it is based on fear. If you are afraid that he or she is never going to leave his or her karmic partner, then it won't happen. Because you are vibrating on a frequency of fear and fear is a low vibrational energy. And there, nothing. universe can't give you anything when you are living in fear. It's not possible. The universe is vibrating on a much higher level. So you need to step into releasing your fears, seeing them, acknowledging, shifting on a cellular level, and then the universe can give you everything you want. And that will be your twin flame or someone better. And when I say this, some of you are going to freak out because he is my twin flame and but perhaps if you're seeing with a blindfold on and if you're not able and not willing to see for yourself what is what is going on you can't shift i accept and create more flow and pleasure in my life you need to create with pleasure pleasure is a high frequency i'm courageous and powerful it needs courage to make the first step and if someone is stepping into his power and stepping and courageous enough to step into this new frequency that means he or she is acknowledging himself herself the lion you are making the lion roar it's up to you whether it stays a little kitten or it will be the king of the jungle I let go of the anxieties of others. You don't need those shit from others. You don't need the frequency of anxiety other people are giving to you. Step, say no, it's not what I want. Stay back. Release those people in your life. So, this was a powerful reading. At least that's what I felt. And I am super glad if you are telling what you experienced regarding the reading, if you share it. And thank you for watching and you will see more of this. So I'm Dutch. I have a channel in Dutch. And if you want to listen to those videos in Dutch, you just click on the translation button. You can everything you can trans it. Everything is translatable. Uh, perhaps I should write, uh, it's not the caption, it's not always possible to, to post the caption in, in, uh, in English. So um, I will do English language readings. And I'm not sure how many. I did it in the previous, I did it in the past, but it wasn't the right time. So, and Spirit guided me yesterday to... Um, step into my power and step into those 
English spoken videos. So here I am again. And uh, we'll see where spirit is guiding me. And that's what I'm doing. I'm stepping into my higher frequency and stepping into everything I just want of life. So I wish you very best. Namaste. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye bye.